Now look, I'm sure you guys have seen that hour-long video talking about Board Ape Yacht Club and calling these kids horrific names simply because they've got some great marketing opportunities and the fact that the Board Ape Yacht Club is having their Ape Fest in New York City as we speak. Now I do want to discuss this a little bit and I'm not going to go into too much detail about this hour-long video that is really portraying these people in horrific, uh, in a horrific light. There's, there's no other way to put it. And I really want to say with this or discuss what this says about cryptocurrency in general and, and this overall bear market and why it's going to get worse. So if it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2022 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. And look, if you're brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, you got a link in the description below for Weeble. It is super simple to set up your account. Any deposit is going to get you guys six free stocks during their anniversary promo. $1 crypto trade gets you $5 in free crypto. And if you guys want $50 in Bitcoin, you've got a link for Voyager down there. Make a $100 trade, you're getting $50 in Bitcoin, and then you can earn above 14% just by holding your cryptocurrency on their platform. You don't have to stake it. You don't have to lock it. Any of that nonsense, you're getting passive income just for holding it. But guys, look, I know a lot of people in the Board Ape Yacht Club community, in the crypto community, they've either seen parts of that video, tried to watch the full hour-long length of it, and so on. But what we have is an excellent marketing opportunity. Board Ape Yacht Club trending, Ape Fest trending, a lot of people looking at this NFT program and this NFT platform because it has an, an, a very exclusive event going on in New York City right now. And it is no surprise that we've got a hit piece coming out at the exact same time. And I'm going to tell you, very well done hit piece, right? Very convincing hit piece. But here's the thing that we forget. And it's a couple things that's absolutely repulsive. We throw out slanderous terms at literally anybody that we do not know. And here's the thing, too. A lot of these people that own these Board Ape Yacht Club NFTs, they have remained anonymous. Their profile picture is literally their profile picture, and we have no idea who they are. We don't know anything about them. We don't know where they were, where what their, up, their upbringing is, what their story is, but we are making making massive, massive prejudices based on some very generalized information and a very well done conspiracy theory. Guys, I'm, I'm convinced, you know, if we can convince people that we never went to the moon, if we can convince people that they're living on a flat earth, you can convince people of anything. And it is, it's sad to me to see people convincing such hatred on a group of people that are, are overwhelmingly anonymous at this point. Sure, they get extremely wealthy. But you know who we're probably talking about here? Teenage kids, 20-year-old kids who went out and took a chance on an NFT. Why? Because they were in the Board Ape Yacht Club mentality based on the ape movement that was taking place in AMC, GameStop, and so on. This ape mentality is not some sort of a hierarchy, and, and it's, it's disgusting to me to see it be portrayed as that. But take it from somebody who was in AMC and that ape movement from the beginning, okay? It is about inclusivity. It is about everyone having an equal chance. It is about, you know, just, I guess, realizing your financial dreams, your vision, coming together as a people, regardless of who you are, and fighting against the corruption, fighting against the manipulation, fighting against the man in a way that provides financial freedom to literally everybody that wants to get involved. And it is slanderous to me to watch some of the stuff that is coming about that. Guys, the ape movement, oh my goodness, it is so much more than what is being portrayed right now by a couple of people who missed out on it. I did not get a Board Ape Yacht Club NFT. I wish I would have gotten a Board Ape Yacht Club NFT. I wish I would have watched my whatever point to Ethereum turn into hundreds of thousands of dollars like a lot of these kids got to see. I am not jealous of them. I have no bad feelings about the success that they have seen. And it's obvious that some people do see that as, as a negative, that success, that upbringing, the overwhelming, I guess, triumph in that NFT project. 
and it is it's so it's heartbreaking right to see someone talk about a a group of people that they do not know that is anonymous that is diverse that is as inclusive as can be in such a horrific and slanderous way now, with that being said, why does this relate to the overall crypto market? I believe we are going to be seeing a lot of this. If you think Board Ape Yacht Club is bad at this point, if you think what, what the decentralized DAOs are doing out there to limit people and have access to their funds, if you think that what crypto exclusive exchanges like Celsius and Three Arrows and Babel are doing right now in freezing people's assets, keeping their cryptocurrency from them, slandering them in ways that should never even be thought of and comparing them to people who have in history done horrific things it's only gonna get worse man it's only gonna get worse cryptocurrency is in its infancy stages cryptocurrency is going to provide those that are willing to wait a decade two decades three decades four decades with generational wealth man maybe you don't get to see it Right? Maybe you're like the guy who bought a stock back in 1970 and wrote it up a thousand X. And finally, by the time he's able to retire, he's sitting on 10, 20 million dollars. Maybe you don't see the gains tomorrow. But if you think about cryptocurrency in the way that you could think about the stock market, it is just the beginning. It is going to go through its growing pains. It is going to go through its recessions and depressions. It's going to go through its bear markets, but we are at the beginning. And I, I know they're going to talk it down and I know these people, they hate change and I know they don't want to see it, but one day it will be embraced. And when that happens, all of the chatter, all of this slanderous activity that is being portrayed in, in media right now, that is being portrayed at just perfectly strategic marketing times when, when Ape Fest is trending, when Board Ape Yacht Club is trending and the release of videos like this obviously do well because of the trending nature is this somebody who makes videos like i get it you want something that's trending at the time you want to talk about it and it couldn't have been it couldn't have been at a better time and a more controversial subject the more controversy the more the more heated passion we can arouse in people right now or arise in people right now it, it seems like that's what people want arguments fights just in uh, and, and insight and in man it is tough to think that one day things will change but they will and here's the thing that we have to remember if you want to be around you're gonna have to walk through the mud man if you want to be around you're gonna have to withstand the flame if you want to be around when cryptocurrency soars again you're gonna have to go through a lot but it will be worth it They'll call you names, they'll tell you you're dumb, they'll tell you that you're never going to see your money again. But I'm telling you right now, if you believe in the future of cryptocurrency, all of that noise that is going on out there, all of that chatter, all of that nonsense, well, shh, be quiet. Not only when you are proven right, but when you are successful and you are ready to go. And here's the thing about apes, okay? Here's the thing about apes. From somebody who was in that AMC 8 movement from the beginning, you have to remember, this is not about individual wealth so that you can one day look down on somebody else. This is about generational wealth so that you can continue to move forward, build your family up, build your community up, and do some good in the world. Man, when you see people talking all of this hate, turn it off. Ignore them. And if you want to throw some heaping coals on them, do it in gentleness. Do it in kindness. Speak love. Speak love. And I am telling you right now, it will calm the storm. Guys, I want to know what your thoughts are down on the Board API Club, down in the cryptocurrency market right now, about everything. Just get it out in the comments below. If this button right here is still red, make sure to click it, subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. You got Claybro883 on Twitter and Instagram. You're getting six free stocks on Weeble, $50 in Bitcoin on Voyager. And until the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.